it's Saturday morning. I am just about to run some errands. I need to go food shopping, get a couple bits of the house. I'm going to be doing a lot of prep for a Christmas market that I'm doing. I'm going away not next week, the week after, and then the day after I come home is the day of the Christmas market. So I want to get everything done this week. Yeah, let's just hang out, spend the day together. I'm going to go food shopping, going to get some yummy fruit. I've been craving a lot of fruit recently. I feel like I've, I eat so much veg, but I just really don't eat a lot of fruit. So I'm craving some. So I'm going to go get some food for today and then we can crack on. Oh my God. Also, how cute is this little hood that my mum made? I'm going away to um, Wales and we're going to be doing some hikes and obviously being November, nearly December, it's going to be freezing. So she made me this little hood, little knitted hood and it's so fuzzy and I love it.
Sunday afternoon and I've just been taking some photos of the bags and um, just editing this video and I feel like this whole process of preparing for the Christmas market has been really exciting but also kind of tinged with like a bit of melancholy because I just I kind of feel like in a way that this this is like signing off like what has been a really oh I'm gonna get emotional <laughs> um it's been like a really really fucking lovely year and I feel like I've grown a lot I feel like I've just breathed for the first time in a really long time because I've just had this space to create and just be without thinking about work which I know is just some people are like I don't want it to sound like a pity party for myself and I don't want it to sound like I'm not I'm aware that I'm in a privileged position to be able to work part-time and to um, have spent this last year like pursuing art and just prioritising my mental health because I know so many people can't do that because of their personal situations and I, I don't want it to sound like I'm completely tone deaf and don't realise that because I do. I'm incredibly grateful for this last year and it, but this is also so stupid for being emotional about it because it's not even, I don't know that it's going to end, do you know what I mean? I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know that I'm going to have to go back and ask to go full time or potentially get a different job if I can't do that, you know, I don't know what the situation is going to look like but it, it feels like it's looming that I, I can't just kind of be blissfully unaware about the fact that it's getting more tough financially speaking um to work part-time um because i'm not really i'm not in a position where my art is like subsidizing anything i'm not selling enough to make up for the loss of money that i have each month from reducing my hours which is fine like i don't necessarily I think money changes a lot of things and when you're passionate about stuff money can really really make an impact um, and so I've, I've never wanted this to be my job I've never wanted this to be my sole income but I really enjoy creating and I really also enjoy the other side of it that is a little bit more maybe commercial in that I really enjoy taking photographs of my work I really enjoy thinking about packaging and um, marketing on it marketing on social media and doing all of that kind of stuff I really enjoy it and that's like also been the process of it for me because it feels like an extension of my art and you know creating my website it's just felt so fun to do that um so while I never really wanted art to be my main source of income it's not like I also am like extremely against selling things you know I, I'm it's a middle ground that I feel like I, I want to eventually get to and there's no rush for that I'm not necessarily seeing it as like a failure or anything like that that I'm not there yet I literally only really feel like I've just kind of in the last couple months like landed in a place where I feel like I'm creating what I want to create and so I don't I'm, I'm not comparing where I'm at with other people who have been doing this for much longer and with a bigger following and stuff like that but I'm just conscious that this might not might not be in this, in this situation this time next year and so in a way it's irrational because I don't know what um, is going to happen and it is pointless worrying about it because that isn't going to change the situation um, but doing this Christmas market and having this be like I went part-time in November last year, so I, I feel like I've hit my one-year anniversary of, like, creating. Um, I can't help but feel a little bit like I'm preemptively saying goodbye to that. <sighs> um, which kind of sucks. As much as, again, I don't know that that's even going to happen, but it, it just... It's unsettling. You know, there's challenges in every routine and every kind of situation, you, you know, and it, again, like anything can happen. This isn't necessarily a guarantee that I'm gonna 
have to stop doing this or gonna have to you know go full-time and whatnot and also there are fucking worse things that could happen than me going part-time I'm well aware of that but I just know how I felt um, I find it hard not to uh, think about that I guess and yeah I don't know <laughs> that being said though I have re I am really enjoying it this Christmas market is something that I've really enjoyed. I fucking really wanted to do one this year. It's a thing that I can tick off, that I can say that I can have done. I'm really happy, like, I am really happy. That's why I think I'm getting a bit, like, emotional, because I am so happy in what I'm doing. And I guess I'm a little bit scared that I'm gonna have to say goodbye to something that I really fucking love, so, I don't know. But even if I do, things will be fine, and you just roll with it don't you but it's just I don't know a bit unsettling I guess but anyway I'm gonna round this video off now I think I'm gonna treat myself to a nice little restful afternoon I still have a couple of things that I need to do but I'm there for the most part I think most of my to-do list has been ticked off so I think I'm just gonna treat myself to a nice cup of tea go for a walk and just watch a film and get cozy and just enjoy this wintry Sunday. Although it's not even been that cold, it's November and it's not even been like less than 10 degrees here, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me, for giving me some of your time. I really appreciate you um, and I will see you very soon.